Happy New Year's, everybody! I cannot believe it is 2017, and I still keep on saying 2016, um, which I probably will for like the rest of the month. I can't believe the year 2016 is behind me now. It's crazy. I thought I would do my favorite products from 2016 today, so I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to start off with sharing with you guys my favorite two skincare products that I've been loving, or kind of all over body. These are the only things other than makeup that I'm sharing with you. First of all, coconut oil, because I mean, coconut oil has changed my skin this year. Every single night, I take off my makeup with this, do a coconut cleanse with water, and I've been seeing great results. And even my lashes have lengthened because of the coconut oil. And then I go ahead and put it on before my moisturizer as well. I've been using this like every single day this year. I've gone through so many containers of coconut oil. Well, for moisturizer, I've been really enjoying this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It's so good. Um, I love Aveeno products and this is my favorite if I just want to moisturize them all over my body or my face. It's just, no, it's not too heavy but it gets the job done. Um, it's a wonderful, just basic moisturizer. It's fragrance free which I really like so I'm not mixing so many different scents. Yeah, if you're looking for a good like all over body, hand, face, this is a great lotion. This packaging has like rubbed all off but this is the Aveeno Clear Complexion. BB cream and I have it in the shade medium. It has SPF. Oh, that's annoying. It's all rubbed off. 30? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> the only thing about this product is it does only come in two shades that I know of. Light and medium. I have medium, which only works for me in the summer unless like I'm mixing products. Sometimes I can get away with it, but um, yeah, I could just get the light and mix it or whatever. Again, it's more on the natural side and it does great skincare benefits to your face as well as giving it a nice blurred effect to your imperfections of redness or discoloration. It's just super lightweight and you're getting SPF. This is my favorite product in the summer. Um, so on days where I just want super lightweight makeup, this is my go-to. One thing I have about this product though is sometimes, I don't know, it's not always, but sometimes when you put it on with a brush or something, it does sometimes pull it and then you get little like crumbles of it, which is the part where I was like, ugh. So I do like to pat it in with just like a beauty blender or my fingers, but it's a great product. I'm in love with this foundation. I got it in the fall time, so I haven't had it all year, but it's been my staple foundation. Whenever I feel like wearing a foundation, this is it. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Foundation. It has SPF 20 in it, but I don't find it gives me like a white cast on my face, which is awesome. Um, but it's just super luminous and dewy. I absolutely love it. As you wear it throughout the day, it just gets a little bit more dewy, but it's very controllable as well, just putting a little bit of powder on. I love this, especially for people with dry skin out there. I highly recommend this foundation. I would say it's light to medium coverage. You can definitely build it up. I usually go in with this product with a beauty blender or a brush, so I really, really love this foundation. Since I was talking about that foundation, I have been loving this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush this year. Um, it's just a, such a nice buffing brush to buff in my foundation. It's such a nice affordable brush to just blend in your foundation flawlessly and I also really enjoyed it to put on bronzer. Um, I just love a nice good dense brush and the e.l.f. brushes, you think they're super cheap and all and they are like price wise, but they're so soft and beautiful. I really, really love this brush. Um, definitely go pick this up if you love this type of brush for makeup application. Mm -hmm. I need to wash it, but yeah. This is a makeup brush that I use literally every single day of my makeup application. Um, specifically for my blush. I absolutely love this brush. This is just the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. Oh my word, I love it. Just popping on the blush, it just puts it on flawlessly. It blends it so beautifully. Whether it's a cream or a powder product, I love it, especially for powder blushes. I really enjoy this. Stippling brushes are just great for just blending out products. Um, so yeah, really love this brush. Really, really love it. This is the only concealer that I use this year to cover any of my blemishes on my face. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love it so much. It just gets the job done um, concealing it, but I find it doesn't stick to all my dry patches like other concealers can. It's just a really beautiful finish and it doesn't like cover your spots so they're like you cannot see them at all, but I mean you can definitely build it up. 
but it will get the job done and definitely blur them out. And I really love this concealer. I mean, that says a lot saying that this is the only concealer I used for that purpose, so. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, and this is in translucent. I love this powder. Um, I heard about this powder from Kathleen Lights, and she has dry skin, so I'm like, oh, yes, I'm gonna try it. And I love it. It's just so beautiful. It just has a nice finish to your skin. It doesn't dry your skin out too much. Um, I like to bake with this or just set all over my face or my concealer areas. It's just really, really beautiful. I just love the texture of my skin from this product. It's a beautiful powder. Love it. And it's super affordable and you got quite a bit of powder. Like I still have so much. This is a very similar idea to the Laura Mercier powder. It's a nice bone color um, and it's just beautiful. Woo! Powderizing. And I kind of like the smell of that powder. Really weird. Most people probably won't. But just, is it like baby powder smell? I don't know. I really like the smell of it and it should not be a good smell probably, but I kind of like it. Bronzer. This is going to come to you guys. No surprise. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. And it's very comparable to a lot of high-end bronzers because it's so buttery and creamy. Oh, it's so nice. Um, and it's just a nice soft bronzer. It's not too orange. It does have lots of cool tone undertones to it. So it's beautiful for a nice bronze over your face. You can get away with not contouring your face. You can just bronze it because this kind of does almost two in one. It's not completely matte, I'm gonna say. It has a little bit of sheen in it, but it's very natural and beautiful. And I mean, the smell, I can't forget say, talking about that. It smells like a Hawaiian vacation or like pina colada or wonderfulness. So really, really recommend this. And I mean, the packaging is so cute. This is probably like, if I could pick one product that was my favorite of 2016, this blush right here. It's just so beautiful. This is the L'Oreal True Match blush, and I have this one in Innocent Flush. It's just so beautiful. Ugh, I love it. <laughs> um, it's just such a pretty natural blush color. It's just gives you such an innocent flush, and it just makes you look so alive and healthy and awake. It has a nice beautiful sheen in it. This is in a really pretty like peachy color. I just love this. Even sometimes I'll just put on a little bit of concealer, mascara, brow product, and then this blush, and then I'm good to go. It's just really, really beautiful. <laughs> I feel like that's all I'm saying about this blush, but I just love it, and I don't know why I love this blush so much. I mean, the formula is great. It looks, the color is great. It's beautiful on the cheeks, but I don't know. It was just my favorite blush of the year. Like whenever I'm like, which blush I want to wear. That one and it went with like every makeup look I did so I'm definitely gonna probably pick up more shades in the new year um, because this is so amazing and definitely deserves to be in this video for highlighter of course I had to choose Becca champagne pop it's just beautiful I just love this highlighter so much it just oh my goodness it's so pretty it's just kind of that perfect highlighter that goes with a lot of look. It's like that perfect shade. It's so beautiful to look at. <laughs> it's more of an intense highlighter, don't get me wrong. Becca's highlighters are just so creamy and buttery. They're just really beautiful. Um, so, and, and then the shade that Jaclyn Hale created is just to die for. For eyeshadow, I was like, hmm, I kind of know what eyeshadows I've been loving this year, but I didn't... There wasn't really specific individual eyeshadow, so I decided to go with palettes. First of all, the e.l.f. Mad For Matte palette. This is just a beautiful, affordable $10 eyeshadow palette of just beautiful mattes. And I think they came out with more different palettes with more shades now, which I'm kind of excited to get. I have just been loving this palette. It's just a great staple because it's just a bunch of mattes that you can work into your crease or transition shades. They're very pigmented and very um, nice and soft. They don't have a lot of fallout on the eyes, but they do have a lot like of product that sits on the brush. So you do want to like tap some of that off, but Overall, this is a beautiful palette with beautiful shades. I've been loving the Naked palette this year. Um, 
it's just a great classic palette to have in your collection. Um, first of all, I just love the packaging, how it's velvet. It's just like, why don't more makeup products have velvet? It's so beautiful. I just want to show you three of my favorite shadows that I always use in this palette. It's kind of like my eyeshadow look whenever I'm like, I need, I'm fat, I need to go fast, and I'm in a rush. Okay, here, this eyeshadow look. Or I don't know what to do, this eyeshadow look. I actually have a video on my simple makeup look using these shades, so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll link it down below. Um, but I've been loving Naked, Sidecar, and Buck this year. They're just beautiful, beautiful, nice neutral colors. Um, Sidecar is just amazing. It's just, oops, I thought it a little bit, but it's just an amazing shade. Um, and I also really enjoyed, like, Half Bake and stuff like that, but yeah, those are probably my favorite. If I was wearing winged eyeliner or liquid eyeliner this year, it was the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen in Black is Black. I love this. First of all, this has lasted so long. Like, usually liners, like, dry out or whatever, and then you can't use this, but this lasts so long. It stays put all day. Um, it's beautiful and really easy to get a nice wing, and I just love this eyeliner. It's just a beautiful eyeliner. Like, I can't really say anything wrong about it. So, yeah, if you're looking for a good drugstore eyeliner... I really enjoy this one and recommend it. I really enjoyed the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's super black. It does a good job lengthening your lashes. I mean, it's a pretty basic mascara, but I just love the way my lashes look with it. Um, so I, I've just been using this a lot and really enjoying it. This one I actually hated when I first bought, and then I fell in love with it. Um, this is the Essence Eye Heart Extreme Volume Mascara and Waterproof. It has a freaking big wand. That took a while to get used to it. So, I mean, that is one reason. Probably didn't like it because I, like, poked my eye out and, like, hit my lid and got mascara and ruined my eyeshadow. But I got really used to it. And I have it on my lashes today, which you probably can't see because I have my camera a little bit farther away today. But I love this. It lengthens my lashes like crazy, um, and definitely since I've been using coconut oil, my lashes have been longer, so they're just super fluttery. It's not waterproof though, so I say wear this mascara on a normal basis, but don't wear it when you're having a pool party or going to the beach, because it kind of, you kind of have raccoon eyes, and it's possible to take off unless you actually like, go in with like a good makeup remover, such as coconut oil. The e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit, I've been using this product for probably over a year, um, which I didn't really like it at the beginning, but this year I found appreciation for it because I was really loving the natural brows this um, this past year. I really like using like the pomade kit products, so I use like um, this one just to line my brows and outline it, and then this one to fill it in. Or sometimes I just use that one, but I mean it's super, it's like $4 or something like that. And it gets you a really nice natural brow. I mean you can really build it up and get intense brows. And I found it lasted all day, so yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Meet Portia. Look at the camera. This is Portia, my kitty, in case you don't know. Super adorable, lovely little kitty. Okay, you can go. We are down to the last two, which are lip products. It was a little bit difficult picking my favorite lip products of 2016 because I feel like for lip products it's something that I just kind of wear with my different looks and blah blah blah. So I came down to these two, which are both drugstore lip products. So again, very budget friendly. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, as they call it. <laughs> I love this one for all. I mean, some people hate the smell of this, but I love, love, love the smell of this product. Oh, I could just smell it forever. Oh, it smells so good. This is a matte liquid lipstick. I'm not going to say it dries completely matte. It's definitely a little bit more of a kind of matte cream finish, but it just feels so nice on the lips. This is in Devotion, which is particularly my favorite shade. It's just a beautiful pinky berry color. Um... It's just, oh, I just love the shade. I just love the way this lip color feels on my lips, and it's just a beautiful color, and it wears nicely over the day. It doesn't, like, last all day or anything like that, but it fades nicely to kind of, like, a little bit of a stain, so it's very easy to just kind of top on top, 
or you can even just leave it like that and just let it wear, you know? The last thing I'm going to share with you guys today is this Maybelline Matte Lipstick. This is in Touch of Spice, which is just a beautiful, beautiful, natural, but a little bit of berry kind of mauve color. I love this so much. It's such a pretty, I'm going to do it right. Such a pretty, nice lipstick. I, this is like a fall staple for me, but this is definitely one of my favorite lipsticks of 2016. Maybelline's lipsticks are just so lovely. They have really nice, high-quality lipsticks. They're just super creamy and pigmented. Like, look at that. Well, I showed you guys all my favorite products of 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And why not also follow my social media, which is linked in the description box down below, um, so you can like stay tuned, see what's happening in my life, and such like that. I can't wait to see what this ear brings, especially for my YouTube channel. Um, it's really exciting. Um, starting a new year with you guys. Yeah, I'm super excited and thrilled. With all that said, Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!